God is obligated to give it to you. It is for the thirsty soul. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter the place. It is the actions. Watch what Sister Hannah did. Her name means favor or grace. Daughters of Fanuel. She was in the temple seeking God's face and praying. Praying. She was one of the people that prayed down Jesus. She was one of the people that prayed that Herod will not be able to slay Jesus. I've watched it many, any time anyone in the scripture is praying effectually and firmly. Angels respond. Angelic response. Abraham was praying. Angels went forth to Sodom. Jacob was praying. Angels descending, ascending. Even in dreams. Zechariah was praying. Angels were released. Were released. Daniel was praying. Angels released. Jesus was praying. Angels released. The church, even praying in unbelief, angels were sent. To deliver Peter. Paul was praying in the boat, in the ship that was about to break. He said, The angel of God, whose I am, whose I serve, appeared to me this night. How about that? Do you need angelic reinforcement, angelic visitation, angelic answers? When we worship, God comes down. When we praise, God comes down. And I love it. But there is no effective worship. There is no spirit worship. There is no truth worship without refiner, refining. We must first be refined. We must first be purified by the purifying fire, which is prayer, to make our prayers, our worship, to be acceptable to heaven. You know, when you talk about sacrifice, there must be smoke. Hmm. And God smelled the sacrifice of Noah. You can never see smoke without fire. Fire is prayer. Smoke is worship and praise. Fire is prayer. And the smoke is our praise and worship. When we pray, angels are dispatched to the four corners of the nations of the earth. And then when we worship after such experience, God comes down, begin to show us secret, begin to reveal his plan, his will and promise to us. Hey, get involved Thursday. Don't miss it. Fast and prayer. Listen to this excerpt, it's gonna bless you. And that's why partnerships like these are critical to successful law enforcement operations uh, nationwide. Uh, so I just wanted to, to, to put that out there and remind you guys that uh, bridge building is extremely important. It's important in business, it's important in the faith-based community, uh, but it's really important in law enforcement. Uh, and a lot of times we tend to br build bridges with other uh, police agencies. We make substantial relationships with other police departments and political assets, and we oftentimes overlook uh, the faith-based community. But just remember what a bridge is. A bridge is a structure that connects two things together. Sometimes you can get trucks and commerce uh, from one place to the other or people from one place to the other, but with relationships, bridge building is really important because when that bridge is there, when it already exists and we have a crisis like the one that happened in Baltimore or the one that happened in Ferguson or, or, or New York, when that bridge is already built, it creates an environment where the exchange of ideas, the exchange of opinions, the ability to work together already exists. So the brick and mortar of that bridge is, you know, volunteering at your local police department or fire department, establishing public service. Uh, creating a, a relationship between your local law enforcement and your church. So when unfortunate events happen, we can all come together and uh, 
we already have a table set up so we can exchange ideas. So thank you very much, Dr. Brown and Mrs. Brown. I really appreciate the invitation. Uh, I will be more than happy to come back anytime in the future to hear your wonderful choir. And thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Stanley. Thank you so much.